I'm in the booth, I'm rapping and I'm cooking like a genie. A lot of these rappers wish they could be me. Know I'm independent when you see me on the TV. Got me a family that I love and want to see me. Talk, but they don't do it when they see me. I've been going through shit, but y'all know because you don't see me. What's up, YouTube? Johnny Wood is here back with another video, and this time we have a lens review the Tokina 11 to 16 2.8. This lens is legendary. Let's talk about it. This lens works beautiful on any crop sensor camera, even full frame, but you're limited to uh, 16 millimeters, but it'll still work. But I am really enjoying wide angle, ultra wide to be technical. For music videos, having a lot of fun with that, like I've said in previous videos, I tend to shoot a little more tighter. So this allows me, especially on a gimbal, to really move around and get some unique dynamic shots especially for trap music when everybody's jumping around, moving around. It really helps make the shot much better. Now, if you're a subscriber or you've recently watched my latest videos, you'll know this lens took a little dive into some water. Uh, for about three seconds and it didn't look good it looked like you know it got caught in a fire like it did not look very nice however it recovered and it works perfectly fine so if you're wondering if this is water resistant um i'd say it is Why do I think this lens in particular is the best ultrawide lens you can get right now? Well, first and foremost, the price tag. It's only $350, or if you look on a used market, around 200 ish And yeah, I am actually really enjoying this, more so for video. I haven't really found a need for it photo-wise. Occasionally, I'll grab a picture or two, but this is a great video lens, especially for a crop sensor camera. And this lens will go great with the Sigma 18-35 the 1.8. The legend, the one and only. Now, although this is a 2.8, this is just more when you have that in combination with the Sigma. I believe this is more so of a, a specialty lens, especially when you shoot music videos and there's like, you got trap, trap music in particular. You got everybody running around, jumping, moving. This is where a lens like this will really be able to capture the scene where the Sigma kind of limits you a little bit because it's at 18 millimeters. You can go all the way to 11 on this bad boy. So I think that in combination, we're going to get the Sigma, by the way. Maybe I'll do a side-by-side -side down the road just to show you the differences. I think it covers a really cool focal range for music videos or just video content in general. You could use this for real estate, use the Sigma for like interviews, etc. If you want to see some sample images or the ones I show in today, I will leave that down below in case you're curious, you want to pixel peek because I know YouTube kind of compresses the video a little bit. Hope you enjoyed the B-roll of me using this lens in a music video setting. I think it turned out pretty cool. And uh, yeah, subscribe, comment below, and tune in to the next video. I'll see you.